What's up, everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. It's your first time here. You might not know that back in May of 2019, we went to Milwaukee's NPS, their symposium event, to find out all about their new releases for the upcoming year, all their new tool releases. Me and Nick, who's behind the camera right now, spent an entire day capturing tons and tons of footage. At the end of that day, we were told that we were going to have a Q&A session with the higher-ups of the Milwaukee Tool Corporation. We we're going to be able to ask them any questions, get any answers to questions we've had, any questions that you've had. We were excited about that. And when we went into this theater-style room, we were met with this. So we have a confidentiality agreement up on the screen. What this says is that you may that you see from this point forward until November. We are monitoring. If we see anything go up, respectfully, you will not be invited back again. Here's the deal. I've been in business pretty much my entire adult life. And the one thing that I'm very apprehensive about is signing any paperwork without it being reviewed by my attorney. But the paperwork seemed very clear, concise, to what the limitations were, and I knew there was gonna be a huge opportunity for us to bring you this footage, this information on this new cutting edge technology. This is the first time I'm ever saying this on camera. The MX Fuel Line signed the paperwork, and now you're gonna see what we got to see. I, I will be honest, it was tough keeping my big mouth shut for all these months. But let's get into it. Hey everyone, my name is Brian Alves. I'm gonna talk you through how the MX Fuel 14 inch cutoff saw delivers the best 14 inch cutoff saw experience. It all starts by delivering the capacity and the performance that users demand and expect for a product within this category. We deliver full 14 inch cut capacity. So as you transition from gas to battery technology, you don't have to make any compromises on that depth of cut and the range of applications that you can complete with this product. The next thing is delivering the fastest cut start to finish. So we deliver the same cut speed as the market leading gas saw. And we do it with eliminating all the steps that you need to start that product by you know, pulling that recoil, anything with choking it, getting it up and running. So we can get to work faster. We can do more throughout the day, save you a lot of time and money. So now AJ and I are gonna show you head to head what it looks like with the MX fuel saw versus the market leading gas saw. that you need to get the saw up and running, it can save you a lot of time. I get to work a lot faster. So where AJ is getting one cut done, I'm you know, almost through my second cut. So what that means is if I'm making intermittent cuts throughout the day, I don't have to worry about starting that saw. And I'm saving minutes every time I need to pick it up. When we eliminate that gas engine, we can get rid of a lot of noise and vibration that comes along with this product. Honestly, we weren't really gonna talk about noise in the beginning because we didn't think anybody would notice. You cut concrete or metal, it's really, really loud. Uh, but everybody we've taken it to, they all keep saying, man, it's way less noise. Or they'll spin up our saw and say, you hear that? You hear what? It's like, exactly, there's no noise. The other thing is vibration. So when we eliminate all that vibration, people keep saying, yeah, it's a smoother cut. I have more control. So we're gonna show you what this looks like side by side. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So here, what you're gonna see is that we've actually maxed this thing out. It normally comes in about four meters per second squared, sometimes in the five meters per second squared range for the gas saw. With the MX fuel saw, we're at about one. So it's a quarter of the vibration that you feel throughout the day versus the market leading gas saw. The next piece is noise. We're at about 110 decibels here versus 95 here. So well over 10 decibels less, which is 50% less perceivable noise to the person using the product. On top of that, we eliminate all the idling noise. So now you have a lot less noise on site throughout the day. It's easier to communicate, which can lead to a safer job site. So now we're, we're back indoors. We're in a nice, tight, confined room. Uh, it's a place you hope you never have to use a gas saw all day. It wouldn't take more than a couple seconds, you'd have this entire room filled with fumes. Now, if you want to or if you need to, you can cut in this area all day long with an MX Fuel 14 inch cutoff saw. And we've noticed it's, it changes the way that people can approach their work because now you don't have to go outside every time you need to make a cut. The other thing, you know, we started running into some interesting things here in Wisconsin, uh, field testing throughout the winter. It was hard to get stuff back after they'd used it for a while because they got to work indoors in the heat for the first time while they're using this product. But it's not just that, you know, you start thinking about the cost savings over time. Uh, you don't have to worry about the, the fuel, the oil, the gas that you need to buy, what you might spend on premix throughout a year. Uh, that versus what you would spend charging a battery. You know, you can save over $100 a year for an average user, real easy. And that's not even counting the, the stuff that you'd use just idling. Next piece is repair costs. You know, carburetor, $70. Winterization, $100 plus. Straight gas in the fuel tank, you're talking four or $500 real quick. We can get rid of all that, because again, no gas engine. And so we're able to eliminate a lot of those gas headaches that come along with the current solutions today. The next piece though, once people feel the power, they understand the benefits, it always comes back to the same thing. Yeah, but how much work can you get done? How much runtime is there? And so that's where, when you look at the packs that we operate from. So with the MX Fuel System, we're gonna have two batteries. We're gonna have a CP pack and an XC pack, similar to M18. You know, we have one for inline, more ergonomically focused, and one that's just the workhorse. That XC pack unlocks a huge amount of capability for us moving forward, and that's what this saw requires. Most challenging application we've gone after as an organization so far. And so what you're gonna see is with two of these XC packs, we're gonna be able to get the same amount of work on two of those as you do on a tank of gas with a market leading saw. And so when you look at this up here, what we have is an uh, eight inch ductile iron. With two XCs, I can get nine cuts. With a tank of gas, I can get nine cuts. We have cast iron down there. We get 10 to their nine. You look at block, 25 to 25. You look at easier applications, like we have PVC, corrugated decking, rebar. We can get more than a tank of gas can get with two XC batteries. And then finally, you look at concrete. Cutting fully plunged five inch depth of cut in concrete is again the hardest application we've gone after as an organization. It's pushed the limits of our battery technology and caused us to drive out to deliver something different. And with that, that one's a little bit uh, tougher. So we get, you know, three XC batteries is the same as what you get on a tank of gas. But really it's all important because when we go and talk to a lot of people, a tank of gas gets most people through the day, especially with these applications we have up here. And that's where as we go on field tests, people that have two XC packs that are cutting pipe all day, they're getting through a day. Sometimes they might have to charge a pack, you know, halfway through the day to get through the entire job, but we're getting people through a, a big portion of that day. You say two batteries equals one tank of gas? Yep. And how long two, do you charge? Like one big and one small? Uh, two of the big ones. And so uh, for recharge time, it's 45 minutes on the CP pack, 90 minutes on the XC pack. The next piece, when you look at, you know, runtime and concrete, over here you'll see our walk behind cutoff saw cart. And this is important when it comes to battery because uh, this will help you get a more efficient cut. Because if you're cutting by hand, there's that opportunity that you get off your line, you start to bind up a little, and it hurts your runtime. If you use our cart, you're gonna get that, it's gonna hold that blade fixed for you so you get the most efficient cutting. And now I can make longer cuts. Our saw comes in at 31.9 pounds. And so if I have to make long cuts in concrete or maybe I'm doing you know, one inch scores, then uh, leveraging the cart's gonna take the weight off the person using it. So now I can more easily walk behind and make those long cuts. So you get longer, easier cuts. So when you take all this and pull it together, that's how we deliver the best 14 inch cutoff saw experience. Any questions? What's the battery voltage? Great question. So 
the, for this platform, it's really not about voltage in any way. So we're going to talk a lot about horsepower. We'll release that information specifically surrounding voltage as we get closer to launch. But we're going to hold that pretty close to the chest for the time being. And what did you say the names are, the designation letters of the two sizes? So we have a CP pack and an XC pack for the, for the larger one. CP and XC? Yeah. Just like in a demon. How's the weight on it? Not bad. I thought it was, I thought it was gonna be a brick, yeah, brick yeah. but it's not a brick. Right. So today I'm excited to introduce to you the MX Fuel Carry On Portal Power Supply. It's going to provide more power on demand. It's going to provide efficient power all day. And you can take this thing anywhere, inside, outside, on the job, off the job, it doesn't matter. Emissions free, making it the best power for the job. So let's talk about that power for a second. This thing is designed to output enough peak power to turn over those power hungry 15 amp <coughs> quarter motors. So if you're thinking table saw, miter saw, top of mind, no problem. We got you covered. And not only can it do that, but it can do it for a long time. Now this unit will operate off of one or two batteries. The second battery is a pure runtime play. To give you perspective, on just one battery, you get 16 or sorry, excuse me, 600 cuts on two by four. You slap that second battery on there, you're up to 1,200 cuts. Another example, if you haven't purchased our sweet new MET fuel frame inhaler that they just saw today, and you're still running twin stack press, that's all right. We got you covered. We got you covered. You get 600 three-inch framing nails on one battery. Once again, slap that second battery on there. You're up to the Final example I'm going to share with you is a three-quarter inch black cut. You can cut, deburr, and thread 30 pieces of three-quarter inch black pipe with one battery. Once again, slap that second battery on there. You're up to 60 pieces. All right. So what's important to understand, excuse me, is that. Powering more in demand is not just about those power-hungry 15-amp ported products. There's a lot more to it. It's also about doing it intelligently. We utilize uh, pure sine wave technology with the MX Fuel carry-on portal power supply. And the benefit's twofold. The first is that's going to allow those AC products to run more efficiently, get you more runtime. <coughs> but the second thing is it's going to be able to power sensitive electronics, like this flat screen TV. How many tailgaters? we have in this rotation. We got a couple, heads non, all right. So to give you perspective, you'll be able to power this 55 inch TV on one battery for over seven hours. And if you're feeling really crazy and you want to tailgate for 14 hours, which if you do, I want your contact info, I want to hang out with you. Uh, slap a second battery on there, you're good to go. Got a nice little break area set up. Yeah, have a seat if you want. Anybody in the mood for some popcorn, per se? Yeah. All right. See you afternoon, we get get some snacks going here. Pull out the bag of popcorn, set this thing up, good popcorn setting, let her rip, get some tunes jamming. So who thought that you'd see today where you'd be able to sit down, have a break, have a warm meal without having access to permanent power? Now I know the thought that's running across all your minds, so that's cool, but how long is something like that going to run? To give you perspective, it will power approximately 35 to 40 Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches per truck. <laughs> and that's a real So this goes back to that pure sine wave technology, right? So it's not just about the power output, it's also about the pure sine wave and being able to power equipment like that microwave. So now you can have a warm new. Right, so the MX Fuel Portal Power Supply also provides efficient power all day. Now, if you look at how gas generators are used, you set them up, you turn them on, you let them run, right? And these things can be idling for hours on end, basically until the tank goes empty. And what's happening here is you can only be pulling power 20-25% of the time, right? So all that money that you've invested in fuel is quite literally going up in smoke. So that makes fuel, carry on portable power supply, you don't have to worry about that, right? There's, there's no idling. There's no maintenance, there's no parts. You charge your batteries up, you push a button, you're good to go. Making efficient power all day and lower operating expenses across the board. 
And the final thing I'm going to point out to you is that this is portable power anywhere. Now, that is not the case for gas generators and inverters today. Right? The gas generators and inverters, you set them up, as I mentioned before, outside, and you run extension cords inside. And the reason you're doing that is because it emits this thing called carbon monoxide, which does not go along well with humans. Uh, it'll make you sick, or worst case, it'll kill you. So set them up, and you run extension cords to your work area to where you need to be. Now what's happening when you do this, two things. One, you're introducing more trip hazards, more extension cords. Second, is that you're creating this thing called voltage drop. Right? So the more extension cords you're running, the more voltage drop you get, the less power you get on the other end, less efficient, less productive you are. Both days are gone. All you have to do is pick this thing up, just like this guy behind me, and carry it on the job site with you to your specific work area. Now, this is designed for the job site. And we wanted to shed a couple pounds to make it a little easier to get on and off. So compared to this guy right here, we're about four pounds lighter with both batteries, fully loaded. And then if you take a battery off it, because you can power it with one battery, we're about 11 pounds lighter. Now also it's designed to have a minimal footprint. And the purpose behind this is that you can fit it anywhere on the road. So it'll fit on those gray carts on the bottom, push it around the work area, or something like you have picture over here on the scissor lift. So if you need to run something overhead, you can fit it in the scissor lift with you and not have to worry about extension cords getting caught in between the scissors you're going up and down. Now there's a couple feature sets I want to point out uh, that you all should be aware of. First is that it does have two outlets. Right? So two outlets, it's primarily intended for one person, maybe two people, but you can run one 15 amp ported product and then use the other outlet for something like a charger. And you can run both of them simultaneously. Our thing I want to point out is uh, you probably are wondering about GFCI, right? It's just saying GFCI, what's the deal with that? So it's a little different. It has what's called ground fault isolation, which means it cannot get into the fault, which means it will be approved for use on job site. Our thing I want to point out is it does have an integrated charger. So you take this cable that will be provided, plug it in the side, and it'll charge your batteries up as much as you can. Now in terms of charge time, Right here we have two XC batteries loaded. One XC battery will take approximately 90 minutes from empty to full. And then we have the compact battery, which I don't know if you've been to the core drill yet, you'll see that. That'll take about 45 minutes to charge. What questions do we have? Cold weather? Yeah. Oh, so the question was cold weather. Great question. So this is designed to operate below zero. Zero, right? So. For you, you all folks uh, up north, you know, like, uh, you're probably you're like, always cold. <laughs> <laughs> you're always cold? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just like our uh, high output red lithium batteries that we introduced last year, same exact great benefits that you can work below zero, no issues. Like rain? Fahrenheit? What's that? Zero Fahrenheit? Zero Fahrenheit, yes. What about rain? Oh, okay, so the question is, what about rain? So I'll tell you, this is not uh, weather rated or weatherproof rated. I mean, you can't put it up uh, you know, on a lift, or sorry, not a lift, a, uh, a crane and let it sit outside for days on end. Uh, however, we do recognize that people will forget it, right? And accidentally leave it outside. So we do have protection to cover that. But it's not intended to be left outside for extended periods. Running watts? So the question is, what are the surge and running watts? So we're going to share that information in the November time. What I can tell you is that it does have plenty of power to turn over those large 15 amp ported products uh, for sensing electronics like the TV. I'm extremely excited to present to you the MX Fuel Breaker. The MX Fuel Breaker is going to deliver a faster, safer, and easier concrete demolition experience for your viewers and our end users. With the MX Fuel uh, Breaker, what we're going to deliver is the most productive, lowest vibration tool on the market. How we're going to do this is we're going to hit harder more frequently, so higher beats per minute and of less vibration. Let that sink in for a second. We're going to hit harder more frequently with less vibration, truly redefining what's possible in this space. I know Sean come up. I almost don't even need to do the demonstration. I feel like you guys want to get hands on yourself. The demonstration we have here for you today is to pay off power and performance, but it's also to show you how low vibration we have. So in this, we're going to be busting up slabs, but also check out our arms, shoulders, and really the response I'm getting from the MX Fuel Breaker, what Sean's getting from the competitive set.
break up to a 40 foot trench, foot wide by six inches thick. Truly disrupting what is possible with a cordless system and really delivering that runtime necessary for all of our core trades, GCs, concrete contractors included as well. Who do this on a daily basis, 
And they're gonna tell you that right there makes a world of difference. We've actually had feedback on people testing this item. We drop it off, they go, oh, I really don't want to use it. I will, I don't want to. Call them in two weeks. How's it going? They have told us that they are now excited to pour. That is game changing. But we can go through pours with rebar without an issue. Another thing you'll notice is that clutch kicks in downward pouring in the stand as well if you're not lined up perfectly. What this means is not only are we providing safer handheld pouring, but we're also avoiding any of the shin injuries on site from stands bumping loose and swinging around and hitting him. What we've started to learn throughout all our time in the power tool industry and now the equipment industry is battery technology has come a really long way. We know that most of your viewers believe in the power of a battery, but it's inevitable that the next question is always going to be, how long can I do it for? How much work can I actually complete? We're able to provide all day pouring. What this means is up to nine three inch holes on a compact battery, which nine isn't like the numbers you're used to, right? But these are not quick hit applications, one and done. These are very precise, time consuming. Take time to line up and set up and move on. So even an experienced user, if they're anchoring, is spending a ton of time setting up. This means by the time they're done completing those holes, one of our compact batteries can go from completely dead to a full state of charge in 45 minutes. By managing that workflow and swapping those packs back to back, it doesn't matter if they're gonna be pouring five holes or 50 holes. They're covered with no downtime. When you compare that to an AC unit, which we all traditionally assume is no downtime, you start factoring in those breakers being tripped we can truly provide that all day experience. We didn't stop with just the most safe product on the market. We took it a step further and said, let's cover all those solutions. So we're also excited to be introducing the compact core drill stand. This compact stand is gonna deliver faster setup and more versatile pouring. We've got tool free removable wheels for easy transport on, off, up and down the job site. We've got a tool free removable carrier. So you can lift off this mast in order to make it the absolute lightest weight solution for mounting up on a wall. We've also got the ability, again, to free to do any angle of pouring. This means no matter how unpredictable the job site may be, your viewers can pour with confidence knowing that they've got the right solution for the job. And this year with the launch of the MX drum machine, we're excited to take the technology
Thank you, Milwaukee. <laughs> Matt and I are going to run a demo that simulates what happens to the motors when it encounters a claw. So what you're going to see here is a red line in the water. to uh, extension cord on the job site. So one more thing to have to deal with. 
And these extension cords in a lot of applications are brought into environments that they're not really designed to be in. A lot of what you see up here. And then the next option past that, you really have to jump up to a gas-powered tow behind you now. One, you have to find space for it on the job. They're great from a light output perspective, but it's the only option that exists past, uh, past uh, the AC powered units. So as we started to look at this space, we knew we had to do a few things. We knew we had, to, we had to make a product that was that much more portable than anything else that existed in the market. We knew we had to extend the mast up higher than what, what we've ever done before because we needed to deliver that much more uh, light output than anything we've ever done in the past. And then we also wanted to make this product capable to be set up in environments that no other lighting product can be, can be set up in. And why, it, real quick, why is that important? You look at exterior job site areas, all that real estate is very important and leveraged in a lot of different ways across the duration of the job. Getting material in and out, getting trucks in, getting lifts and all that kind of stuff around. So we wanted to make sure we could actually set this product up in an area that was at one time uh, really useless on the job site. So to quickly show you guys how we're able to do that, I'm going to set it up in this environment real quick. So we already talked about the mass extending 10 feet tall. At this angle, if I was to extend this whole thing up, the whole thing's going to come crashing down, right? So all we did is integrated a couple outriggers into the product. That you can quickly set this thing up and level it out in just a few seconds. Once I put out the other two outriggers, this thing can actually withstand over 45 mile an hour winds. To put that in perspective, that's the same rating as a lot of these multi thousand pound tow behind units that exist in the market today. And when we have the wind rating to support it, but we also have the weather rating to support it as well. So, rain, wind, dust, whatever, this product is designed to weather the storm. We also looked at a lot of different ways to, in regards to setting the product up. You look at the AC powered products in the market, you have a lot of bolts. You have to try to extend this thing up, tighten the bolts back down. Hopefully you get the bolt in the hole, otherwise the whole thing's probably going to come crashing down on you at some point. And then you look at the uh, tow behind products that are out there. A lot of hand cranks, a lot of winches. We thought of a pretty, pretty simple solution to address that issue, just motorize it. So we motorize the mast, and then you also have four independently adjustable light heads. So if you want up lighting, if you want down lighting, you have the capability to do all those things within one light. And you look at why that's important. A lot of the products that are out there today are extremely one dimensional. You don't really have the ability to set it up, manipulate it, any of those things once the product's set up. So giving the capability to do that out of the box is pretty important. To, uh, for this demonstration, we'll show this in a, in a task orientation and give you guys an idea of how bright 27,000 lumens is. So at 10 feet tall, this is what 27,000 lumens looks like. To put that in perspective, our leading product on the M18 line puts out about 2,500 lumens. And the only way we were able to get here is really the MX fuel technology that, that's given us a bigger fuel tank to really take performance to the new next level. And this truly sets the standard for performance in this industry. There is literally nothing out there on the market with a removable battery pack that can meet these performance specifications. The great thing about this is even though it sets up quick, it comes down just as fast. So I can quickly collapse this down, collapse in my light heads, some additional features in the product as well to make life that much easier. We added an AC port into the front of the product, so if you wanted to power this thing two months, two years, whatever, you can plug the product in. And then once it's also plugged in, with the battery pack attached to it, it also serves as a battery backup system. So if you lose AC power, the light will automatically switch to DC and keep the lights on. You look at once it's plugged in, it also charges any RMX fuel pack. So 
we're not backing off the charge rate since we integrated it into the product, so it carries the same charge time as our standalone chargers. So the large XC battery pack will charge in about 90 minutes, and our compact pack will charge in about 45. So still delivering a lot of that same quality uh, within the product itself. In the back of the product, we've sealed the battery off from dust and weather. Uh, we've also added a lock cast onto the battery on the door latch so you can put a padlock on it and prevent people from going in and pull the pack out of it. You also get one key technology. One key is also integrated into the battery packs as well. So you have the ability to customize and track and manage the lights uh, or the battery packs. So uh, within the light, you have a lot of the same settings you have with our one key enabled lighting products that are out today. But one of the new features that we're adding for this product that we don't have in all of our products is setting a predetermined runtime. So if you know you need to set, uh, you need to power this light for the next, whatever it is, four and a half hours, you can go into the app, put in four and a half hours into the app, it'll send it to the tool, and it'll automatically give you the output you need to get to that four and a half hours, taking all the guesswork out of the process. So one less thing for uh, your viewers to really have to worry about on the job. So less light output? It'll automate, so, at four hours, you would be in between a couple output settings. So you put four and a half hours into the app, and it'll give you a lumen output in between that high and medium setting. That makes so sense. So it's dimmable via, the, dimmable via the app? Yep. Yeah, you'll have all the same infinite options, just a slide bar in the app, so you can set all, all the outputs based on the needs. So, so what is it at home blow? Home blow? Uh, three hours. Three hours, and then that three hour runtime at the highest setting. And then for the medium and low settings on the product, your runtime doubles each time. So you go from three hours to six hours to 12 hours. What's the weight on it? Uh, about 96 pounds. Um, and for 96 pounds, you would think that, that it's difficult to move, but this thing wheels around pretty easy. A lot of the weight's baked into the base of the product, helping the stability, all that kind of stuff. And you can move this thing around pretty easy. Any last questions? We've What's got about warranty on the tool and the LEDs. What was that? Warranty on the, on the tool and the LEDs. So warranty, warranty on the tool will give you guys all that information as we get closer to November. Uh, all of our LED lighting products, the LEDs themselves are warranty for life. So uh, what you'll see a little bit differently with these products is that they're going to be uh, a lot more serviceable. So all these light heads, if you were to have an LED fail. Uh, we run these all within the, what's referred to as LM80 data, so uh, based on the manufacturer's specifications to reach 50,000 hours of life. But if, if one was to fail, you pop this cap off, there's a connector, two bolts, swap it out and you're good to go. Is the uh, wind rating for the mask fully extended? Fully extended and fully feathered out. <laughs> yep. Why didn't you make enough room for two batteries? It was gonna, so in, you'd be surprised how many electric, how much electronics are baked inside of this. I know all this information's new and exciting. If you want more information about the MX fuel line, you can click on any one of these videos here. If you like our content, like our channel, love our style, get subscribed over there. With that, I appreciate every single one of you. See you on the next one.